My name is Damon Davis, and I am a junior at Patapsco High School in Center for the Arts. Today, I will be pitching Hungry for Change. Growing up, I was fortunate enough that I never had to worry about the food that I ate, as I always ate healthy and fulfilling meals. This is not the case for many of my peers and many adolescents in my community who are suffering from life-threatening illnesses. Hungry for Change's mission is to provide medical intervention to children and adolescents, a part of the minority community, who may be suffering from life-threatening illnesses, such as diabetes and obesity. Many parents in these low-income communities have to work multiple jobs just to keep household bills paid and end up feeding their children unhealthy fast food meals. Many people question why obtaining adequate food is such a huge problem in today's society. There are many answers to that, but I hope to be one of the many people to fix this problem. Did you know that in Baltimore, one in three school-aged children is either overweight or obese? One major cause of this is fast food and sugary drinks. One in four of our city's children drink up to one or more sodas per day. The consumption of these meals and beverages can lead to major preventable illnesses. In fact, drinking one soda per day can increase a child's odds of becoming obese by 60%. This is why my project is focused on children. If we can provide food as medicine, we hope to lower and prevent these glaring statistics. Oftentimes, children suffering from diabetes and obesity don't understand the negative effects of the food they consume. As a certified community health worker and a certified serve safe food handler, I will guarantee that my project not only ensures access to healthy meals, but educates children on why they should eat healthy and the effect that the healthy meals will have physically and psychologically. To ensure that this project continues for years to come, I have partnered with Natasha's Just Brittle and Movable Feast. These organizations are helping me with building the infrastructure of my organization. I will also create a succession plan, which will consist of recruiting volunteers. These potential leaders must believe in creating health equity for our underserved community and have a passion for culinary arts and community service. I will create a plan to train these volunteers to move into leadership positions, which will take this project into its next phases of success. Hungry for Change's budget will be solely focused on providing organic and medically tailored meals to black and brown children all around Baltimore City. The three main priority areas of our budget include transportation, food preparation, and kitchen rental costs. I will be asking for the full amount of $15,000 because now more than ever is the time to act. The coronavirus pandemic has caused many parents to lose jobs, making it harder to afford healthy meals, which furthermore worsens conditions such as diabetes, especially in children. In conclusion, I thank you for the opportunity to present Hungry for Change. Please invest and in the uprising of diabetes and obesity in our city's children. Please be a part of the change, not the problem.